Welcome everyone to your lunar eclipse full moon reading. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Uh, this lunar eclipse is coming in the 24th through the 25th. Those on the Pacific coast will be the 24th. Like for me, I'm in California, so it'll be the 24th around 10 p.m. East coast, I believe it was 1 a.m. So definitely going from the 24th to the 25th of March. Um, this full moon is the warm moon, but it's also bringing in that beautiful lunar eclipse. The portal opens two days before the lunar eclipse and then therefore lasting two days after, right? So there you guys go. And those are the greatest times to manifest when the portal is open. Um, and of course, it's going to be the strongest when that lunar eclipse is taking place. Um, it'll be a boom open, right? Okay. And remember, guys, this is a... A collective reading this is for everyone this is the whole general idea of what the lunar eclipse is bringing in for everyone on this planet right in the collective so right now we just want to understand that it will make the emotions run super duper high because it is the lunar eclipse even though full moons always make emotions run high anyways so just watch people um, around you as well as yourself remember when emotions run high intelligence runs low so you might have some people that are going a little weird right acting a little over rational however it is so having those ups and downs like a roller coaster and this one is definitely going to bring out the, the roller coaster effect of emotions right having a few great surprises coming in as well for a lot of you right really bringing in those surprises um getting straight into this we are going this way as we always do so my arms don't get in the way here we go Sword of light, divine protection, cords are cut, breakthrough energy. So it is saying, yes, this is that breakthrough energy that a lot of you have really been looking for. And remember, after this runs that solar eclipse, the solar eclipse is very important for those of you in the United States because we will not see another solar eclipse for 20 years. OK, so that one's going to be a big, you know, big giant one. Um, that's why it's so important and it's kind of going crazy all over the internet careful what they're saying though there's some crazy things going out and of course lunar eclipses and solar eclipse can bring in total lunar eclipse and solar eclipse can bring in earthquakes and some natural disasters as we know so also be warned of that um, this one also says don't let your past hold you back south node now that's very interesting so it's bringing in this south node those karmic ties from your past right from your past life so very nice so what is your south node saying what is it that you know your past is saying what karma lies ahead of you for your destiny Ooh. so don't get all tangled up and doing things um even from the past in this life don't allow yourself to get caught up in webs and situations that you know you've already broke free of right it's time to let go of those things um so that we can just allow the blessings to come through so with the divine protection let's see what we have over here clarifying on this situation please situation and don't forget, this is also a time for affirmations always. And I did put up the manifesting uh, video uh, for you guys uh, that was talking about why your uh, manifestations might not be coming in. Okay. Three main reasons. So if you check that out, it is in the playlist. Talking about the Hierophant. There it is. Social approvals, forgiveness, trust, wisdom, reaching those higher levels of commitment at this time, really having those breakthroughs, reaching ab above and beyond regular maybe traditions, maybe not getting yourself in, you know, in webbed in what society entails for everyone, right, when it comes to those situations, okay, having those breakthroughs. Bringing in the Ten of Cups, we do have that divine love, holding those blissful relationships, finding that inner happiness and content at this time, and really watching your dreams come true. I love that because that's what those lunar eclipses want to do. That's what they do at these, these total eclipses. Um, whether it's total for you or not, that's what the eclipse is entitling. That's what it's bringing in. It wants you to have those time for, you know, gratitude, self-work, 
feeling like you're getting your affirmations out there so that you can have your dreams come true. And some of you are actually going to have your dreams coming true. And it's also great time to manifest now so that you can get those dreams, you know, really out there for that solar eclipse to bring them in. Right? So over here, having the high, the high priestess, wow, now you got the Hierophant and the high priestess. So this is talking about using your intuition. Your intuition is going to be really open. Um, and trust yourself within the situation. Wisdom again. A lot of secrets and hidden things going on. Digging deep within oneself because it is the full moon, right? So a lot of things that seemed hidden might be coming to light at this time, right? As you, as they're being eclipsed. Wow. So you have the sun. There's those blessings coming in with the joy and celebration, success and rebirth. Feeling like here comes those new beginnings. The new beginnings for what? For you to work on yourself. Also make sure that you're watching yourself, right? When it comes to making sure you're having fun, right? It's a time for fun, right? Going over some of those things. When you are trying to improve yourself, looking at yourself, it wants to also have your, have you looking at yourself, asking you those questions. Am I, too in, am I too impatient? Am I too greedy? Do I have too much ego? Am I overworking? I need more time for fun, right? Need more time for fun. Family, got the family with the Ten of Cups, right? Asking these questions and following through. Ask these questions. This will also come in handy for, for the 29th when that asteroid of wisdom um, in Palos comes in. Okay, so we have this asteroid coming in. It's also going to be a great portal there too. Okay, and it will uh, make more focus and it wants to focus on that past. Self node, right? On that past. And this Palos is actually going to be retrograding at this time as well on the 29th and bringing up good and bad deeds and karma back into focus with that south node, right? Rewards or disappointments being being faced, right? What are we looking at? Rewards, those disappointments. What are we facing over here when it comes to karma? Karma is that south node. So next, next one out, there it is, completion. Completing, having a fulfillment, arriving to the conclusions of what's going on around you. There's a lot of um, a lot of shifting, a lot of shift here with the fool and the world. It's totally showing how we're all shifting into different, right? Different thought, different vibration, right? Different ideas. Very nice. A great time for gratitude as well when you're doing that self-work. So let's get over here. Um, what's the and the next one coming out is the Thoth, right? Light initiation, great teacher awakening and the divine magic. It's almost like the same thing it's saying. There's this great awakening with everyone. Everyone's waking up. Everyone's looking at their, their karmic differences, the things that are going on around you. What I should focus most of my attention on, how I'm going to keep the fun going, my family, my friends, the things that are important, my priorities. On a different level of priorities, though, the ones that mean something good, right, the greater ones. It's time to take that action. New moon in Aries. Right? So you have the new moon. So anything that you felt that like you're having fear or anxieties, your subconscious will come clean of the situation. If you feel like anybody's having, you know, getting away with something or deceiving you, things are going to start coming around. Things are going to start, look at that. Things are going to start coming out into the open. The secrets. You see, and it's crazy because it's talking about those secrets over here. Uh, with the uh, high priestess where it says all this wisdom is coming from these secrets and all these different things coming out into the light. Those things that were hidden will soon come come out. Your intuition is going to bring them out, make you focus on certain things. Right? So that way you can have the celebrations and make the milestones. And also towards the things that maybe you don't understand. Uh, maybe it was things that you felt like you were, you were blocked. Maybe your chakras had you blocked for the whatever reason. Um, your mind didn't feel very clear about the situation. Things are now coming in. You're also going to feel very creative um, as those new ideas and things are coming out. 
Why? Because it says over here, sword of light. Sword of light is sword of truth. Truth. Cutting cords to things that no longer serve me. Right? Absolutely. Taking on new challenges. Holding your own and standing up for yourself. And moving into the direction which is definitely made for you. Knowing that you're making these new creative steps into what it is you really want. This is the time during this lunar eclipse to say, what is the next step in my life? What is the next evolution that I need to hit? Where am I shifting? How am I shifting? Am I, am I, am I shifting towards the rewards or the disappointments? <sighs> yeah, eclipses, they're deep, right? So it's, it's asking you over here to use your intuition. Listen to that creativity. Be creative about what it is you're going after. Watch the rewards come in page of cups knowing that some happy surprise is right around the corner love it over here with the lunar eclipse is saying earth star activation anchoring grounding your action right for the isis energy this is saying it's time to ground that action well it says take action here so you're going to definitely start grounding it holding that vision of what it is i truly want for myself during this lunar eclipse during these this time of the portal. Remember, it's two days before, two days after, right? And a port, you know, and a lunar eclipse lasts how many months, guys? Six months. Every six months we have a lunar eclipse. So that's what it's saying, right? Holding that vision for the ending, for the ending of new beginnings, that transformation. There's that shift coming, that cycle change, that new transformation in the way you're thinking, you're doing things creative, way you're transforming. Because you're definitely ending a cycle for a brand new cycle within your life. Unlocking all of those opportunities. But it's crazy because remember, it's the seven of cups. Some of the things in these cups are not good for you and some are very good for you. There it is again. Rewards or disappointments. Choose which one, which cup you want. Focus on what it is you truly are searching for. It wants you to search for your purpose. Interesting. What's the south node? Searching for your purpose. Reaching your goals. Climbing that ladder to success. Attaining fast, rapid action. Having things come in. Having, you know, messages coming in as well. This is that speedy action, watching things take place, having quick decisions. Because why everything's moving really fast. Judgment, there it is again. Man, I'm telling you, this whole lunar eclipse really has to do with a lot of rewards and disappointments when it comes to karma. Uh, you know, good deeds, bad deeds, good karma, bad karma into focus it's it's you know it's really based on this area um with the inner calling and the new phase absolution and reckoning and, a, and a, the awakening and there's a lot of awakening that's being taken place within uh this um this lunar eclipse as well a lot of understanding seeing things differently but that's what we do when we have a butterfly effect right that's what we do when we shift in perspective that's what we do when we we transform and, you know, have a kind of an evolutionary shift, balance and uh, harmony over here, having that patience. Make sure that you are being sensible towards what it is you truly want, though, guys, really finding that purpose. You know what it is you truly want, really a lot of focus. It wants you to have that focus. Things that are justified for you. Once again, karma, <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't get away from that, right? You just can't get away from that. I mean, that's literally what it is. And it's crazy. I just want you to know, as I do my homework and I read on these things, you know, and I see these things, it's crazy. I see them. I write it down. What's going on, right? And then we use the cards. And the cards are saying the same thing. It literally just said, what? Focus the past and bring up good and bad deeds and karma back into focus. Rewards or disappointments being faced. Literally did the homework on that area and the cards are saying the same exact thing. Saying this is, this is how we're transforming. This is what I want you to look at. This is how it's going down, right? <laughs> it's like you can't make that shit up, right? I mean, here's the deck of cards. Here's where it is, right? 
So, I mean, you, like I said, you just, you can't make that stuff up. That is what it is. Right? Right here. If you're looking for financial independence, have that self-care. Look at the conflicts that are around you. If anything, you know, that you're mistrusting and that you're feeling, feeling like somebody is deceiving you, it will come out into the open. Right? This is not a time to be playing it small. This is a time, you know, and not a time to be stuck in the past. This is a time to return to what it is that is truly yours for yourself so that you can have the victory within the situation. Woo! So I'm going to actually use the Art of Manifestation cards here since I still have them up from the manifesting video. Let's see what's going on. Allow yourself to receive. One of the greatest blocks in our is in our ability to manifest our greatest desires is the inability to allow ourselves to receive. This card asks you to take some time to identify any inner beliefs, perceptions, and attitudes that stop you from receiving, and one by one remove these resistance. I'm gonna put this one here. I wonder if we can do that without it falling. I don't think it's too heavy. Next card to come out is, let's do it, the Thoth Light Club Codes. Tell us what, it, what the next card is, please. Spiritual Warrior, the pathway of the spiritual warrior and the calling of your soul. And the one on Earth Star activation, please, for the collective. Very inspiring, very heavy, heavy, heavy uh, reading over here. This one is grounding your action, and this one is for forgiveness of ourselves. When something goes wrong, even in the circumstances, we're out of con our control, or we did the very best that we could possibly do, we can still carry guilt after the event. The gift of guilt is to help us to learn and to develop a conscience not to carry as a ball and chain for the rest of our lives. Listen to the learning and forgive yourself for not being perfect. Release any guilt today. And that's going to bring in that what transformation. Where is that? Thank you. Look at that. Bringing in that beautiful transformation. And it's also going to, you know, help you along your way of your judgment call. Because that's what? The card of what? Forgiveness. Mercy. Reclaiming what's yours, having the absolution, reawakening, bringing in that new phase. Uh, let's see, let's going after your higher and inner calling as well, as you are focused, right? Answering the call. Two angels right here, love that. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.